Alrighty, by request of a viewer, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick video for the Z9 and also all the Zone Star printers. So what I was asked was, how do you upload the firmware to a Zone Star printer? In reality, it's really, really easy. So let's go ahead and check that out now. First thing you need to do, you need to go to Zone Star's drive on Google. So there's all kinds of different things you can do. You can go to the release documents and things like that. Um, I typically start with the shared with me, go to the firmware, the hex code. These are all the originals. You go for, and you need to download the firmware upload tool. So choose the one that works for your computer. If you're using Repeater, click on Repeater. Now for the Z9, you find the Z9. There are two different types. There's the Core XY and the HBOT. Um, the HBOT was one of the originals, and then there's also the Core XY. Either one will work depending on which one you have. So if you go to the HBOT, find your Z9M2 and Z9M3. Also on the Core XY, you have the Z9M2 Core XY version 3, version 21 for the M3, so on and so forth. Find the one that works. So after you downloaded the upload tool and you downloaded this file, number one thing you have to do is bring up your file menu, unzip your firmware upload tool, which I've already done, then open it. This is what you're going to find. Now as you can see, here are the upload files that I have. This is extremely important to make sure that the file that you download from the drive, no matter which one it is, that you save it to your downloads, but you have to transfer it for it to this file. It has to be in the firmware upload tools. Next, what you need to do is you're going to update firmware and just follow the prompts. Press any key. Then you're going to select your COM port. If you go into your device manager, which you can do by searching through your Cortana or searching through just the computer itself. You can find your device manager. Click on USB, unplug the printer, and then plug it back in to make sure you know what COM it's on. So for me, the Z9 is on my COM1. So we'll type in COM1. Then what you have to do, without the .hex, you have to type in the exact capitals and everything, file. That you have downloaded. Once you've done this, you'll hit enter. It'll tell you if it's done it right and it'll start downloading. Once it finishes, the screen on your printer will reset and tell you what version that you have running. So that's really all that I needed to do to show you how to do, use the upload. And I hope this served you some, uh, some good. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Facebook or on YouTube. Um, just search for Craig3D, you'll find me. Uh, if you really need to get a hold of me in the About section of my YouTube, there is my email address. You can send me an email at any time, and I'll get back with you with whatever answer I can find. If I don't know, I'll contact ZoneStar myself and try to help you out. So once again, guys, that's a real simple way to upload the firmware to your ZoneStar printer. I hope you guys found this interesting and entertaining. Don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this to your friends that have Zone Star printers. And as always, thanks for stopping in. I'll catch you guys later.